start now. So in our today's class, we are going to start the uh, last chapter in volume 1, 11th physics, that is what, uh, chapter number 7, gravitation. So let us see what is this uh, gravitation and uh, how the things will be there. So it is not a new chapter, what we already studied uh, previously, the same things, many things will be there. If you are good in that, definitely here it will be very simple uh, to make it. So let us start now. So what is uh, what is there and what is not there, uh, let us discuss. So if you observe very carefully, so all of you keep adding gravitation. So today, the most important fundamentals only we will discuss and you will I will try to make a like, brush up it is, okay? So this is uh, also very important chapter for JE mains and as well as NEAT. So in our today's class, we are going to see introduction to law of uh, gravitation. So class ninth, you might be studied universal law of gravitation or we can say Newton's law of gravitation. Do you all remember everybody? Yes, please. All of you. So that is only the basic concepts of this uh, in our today's class. So law of gravitation, also we can call it as a Newton's law of gravitation. Okay. Or we can say universal law of gravitation. So what is this universal law of gravitation or law of gravitation? So let us see that now. So you might be remember in a class now from the class nine. So the same fundamental we are going to start. So if I have taken any kind of object, for example, if I take a sun in a solar system, now sun is always exerting the force in a planet which is surrounding in its orbit, uh, in its orbit, and the force which is always uh, pulling them and make them to make them to revolve in a particular orbit. That is the force we used to call it as a, what is the force we used to call? Already we studied in 11th class also. Yes, please, everybody. Centripetal force. Yes or no? So that is the force which we always call it as a centripetal force. So that centripetal force only we used to call it as a what force, all of you? Yes, please. Gravitational force. Means the force which makes the planets to revolve around the sun. Now if you have taken not only the sun, if you take moon, moon is revolving around the earth, like that any planets, any, any objects in the universe, if you have taken, if one object is revolving around any other object, is because of the force of attraction. That is what we used to say, centripetal force. Now, let us discuss the concept of Newton's law of gravitation. That is what simply you can say, universal law of gravitation. So according to universal law of gravitation, what universal law of gravitation will say is same thing from class 9. So you take any two objects in the universe, that objects may be celestial objects or terrestrial objects. I hope you all knows what is the meaning of terrestrial and uh, celestial object. Am I right, everybody? Mr. Narayan? Yes, please. So what do you mean by celestial and uh, uh, terrestrial objects, the objects which are present inside the atmosphere, we used to say terrestrial object, the objects which are present outside the atmosphere, we used to call it as a, what we used to say, everybody, celestial objects. Now, you take any two objects in the universe, it is not between either a small or a big or two or small or two or big, doesn't matter. So, the distance between the, from their centers, let me take the distance between from their center C, we used to call it as a R. And let me take mass of this body is M1 and mass of this body is what? Everybody, M2. So, now according to the Newton's law of gravitation or we can say universal law of gravitation, the force of attraction, the force of attraction between the two objects, any two objects in the universe, is directly proportional to, do you understand everybody? Product of their masses, M1 into M2. And inversely proportional to distance, square of distance between the two bodies from their centers. Do you all remember at least now, everybody? From the class 9, the same thing you are studying. Am I right, everyone? Please respond. All of yes, you. So if you take any two objects in the universe, the force of attraction between them is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of distance between from where brothers distance between the two bodies from their centers you should not say from the surface from their centers 
clear so now and this force of attraction how it will acts it will acts on the only it won't act in this way it won't act in this way the force of attraction it will not act in any direction only it will act on the understanding line joining the centers line joining the centers now force of attraction by body one on body two is acting in this direction then the force of attraction uh, on body one by sorry body two on body one is opposite direction am i right or wrong everybody it will act along the axis of a line joining the centers along the axis of line joining the centers that is what the force always act it won't act this direction this direction this direction different directions it will never act the force of attraction between any two bodies always acts where guys always acting along the understanding a line joining the two centers of the two bodies that is what you have to remember now if i combine these two so we all knows that f is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of radius sorry square of distance between the two bodies from their centers now i will remove the proportionality we all knows that i will take a constant what is a constant everybody capital g into m1 into m2 divided by r square this is only the ways to call it as a formula for calculating force of attraction force of attraction between any two bodies am i right everybody do you understand all of you yes please so any two bodies in the universe if you want to calculate the force of attraction between any two bodies in the universe this is what you have to use it i hope you all understand mr rohit mr rishi clear everyone please respond all of you yes, yes. Sir. that is now this g what is this g is representing universal gravitational constant if you forgot it again you learn universal gravitational constant that value of capital g is 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton square meter per kilogram square newton square meter per kilogram square do you understand everybody please respond all of you so how the units will come let us see so we'll modify this one the formula so f is equals to this value is universally accepted value this value does not depend on does not depend on anything depend on mass or distance or any medium so medium between the two objects does not depend on anything do you understand mr rudreshwa this is very very important so the capital g universal gravitational constant does not depend on masses of the bodies does not depend on distance between the two bodies or the medium present between the two bodies are you clear everybody yes please respond all of you understand ma yes, that is what now this formula let me write the units of g how it will comes you might be remember but you forgot i know so remember g into m1 into m2 divided by r square now r square will come this side it will become f into r square m1 and m2 will come this side divided by m1 into m2 which is equals to g so what is the unit of force firstly unit of force guys newton understanding unit of distance meter so meter square divided by mass is kilogram another mass is kilogram so kilogram into kilogram kilogram square that is how the units of units of universal gravitational constant understand pradosh understand mr narayan laksha yes please respond guys please yes, yes. so now i am giving you just one minute time can you write the dimensions of I already have taught you but again i'm asking dimensions of capital g make it quick let me see who will say first dimensions of capital g this one i will say meters length so l l power 2 kilogram power minus 2 it is so mg m minus 2 what about newton newton means what force force is equals to what guys mass into yes please mass into everybody acceleration so mass is what mass is what ra m yeah. into l into the power minus acceleration what rudreshwar meter per second square meter means l power 1 second means t power minus 2 so i'll write m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 into this now m power 1 minus 2 which will become m power minus 
L power 3, T power minus 2. Am I right, everybody? Will you all verify it? All of you? Brothers, very good, brothers. Others, have you done, everybody? Please respond. Yes, sir. Yes. Clear, everybody? Yes, sir. Yeah. It is very, very important. Okay. All of you. I hope you all understand how to find your dimensions. Everybody tried or not? Yes, sir. Yes. So now, we can take it. So now, this is what the dimensions of it. M4 minus 1, not M4 1. Minus 1. Because plus 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. Okay, guys? All of you? Yes, please. Everybody clear? So now first, let me take now. So if you take this force of attraction, first point, keep it in mind. This force of attraction is a, what force actually? Centripetal force. Do you understand all of you? The force, the force which is acting, not centripetal force, it is a central force. The force acting between two bodies. Clear? And this force is present between any two bodies in the universe. It's, that is only wish to say, force of attraction. That is why it is call it as a, attractive force are you clear everybody and next these force of attraction between any two bodies does not depend medium what medium present between two bodies so that is why it is it is actually what a force is independent independent of medium that is what is most important thing force is a what everybody it is the independent of medium understanding it does not depend on what the medium present between the objects next irrespective of the size of the objects maybe capital m or small m or bigger or smaller doesn't matter whatever the force exerted by the first body the second body also will exert the same amount of force on the first body will you all agree with me what i'm saying understand all of you yes please so irrespective of their sizes irrespective of their masses what will happen if this body is exerting some x force means then this body also will exert in the same body how much force everybody same x amount of force am i right or wrong please respond but what will happen everyone the force exerted by first body on second body understanding and force exerted by second body and first body both are equal but what is that? Anybody? Udreswa? Narayan? This is acting Opposite. in a forward direction. Means then this has been considered as a what direction? Backward direction. So, they are equal, but in what? Opposite in. Yes, please. Direct. Opposite in direction. So, that is what? The force of attraction between the two bodies is always equal and it is always opposite to each other. That is what you have to remember. And this universal law of gravitation, what you studied, it is only valid for a mass, a valid for only point masses. Means if I take a small like point masses, then only if I take a bulk, bulk masses, this is not actually a valid. This is only for a valid for point masses. That is what you have to remember. Universal law of gravitation. And with the help of this valid for point masses we have a greater importance in studying the significance of heavy bodies so if you want to study the properties of heavy bodies like sun moon whatever you want it so then there is a big greater importance of this universal law of gravitation so this is what is the concept of what is universal law of gravitation and what is that is acting now I am going to teach you the concept with the help of numerical only. But before that, I want to say you something like electricity class 10, how we used to teach the factors affecting resistance. I hope you are all my old students only. So we're all very familiar with that, I think. Am I right, everybody? Factors affecting resistance. That is what resistivity and resistance concept. Allow me remember, everybody, please respond, guys. I love you. That is what. So now if I take any two bodies, please respond. If I take any two bodies, yes, the distance between the two bodies from their centers, what we have taken, everyone? Yes, please. R. 
and let me take this mass is small m and this mass is capital M. So what is the force of attraction between these two bodies? Everybody tell me. Let me take it is F1. What is the force of attraction, guys? Force of attraction between them is what? Capital G into small m into capital M divided by R square. This is what is the force of attraction between these two bodies. If they are having a masses of capital M and small m and distance between the two bodies from their center C is R. Do you all understand everybody? Yes, please. Now, yes. if suppose... If R become double, what do you mean by R become double, everybody? To R, do you understand it? Then what is the new force? Then new force is equals to mass this remains constant. Capital M into small m divided by in place of R. R become what, guys? Speak loudly, 2R. So which is equals to 2GM into small m divided by 4R square. So this GM into capital M into small m divided by R square, which is equals to what? Everybody? Yes, please. F1. Yes, so what is the new force, everybody? New force is decreased by how many times, guys? Distance become double. Then force is decreased by how many times? Please respond. Four, four times. Laksha, already it is decreased. It means it's a one by four. You no need to say again one by four. Clear, Laksha? If you are using already negative term, it's not necessary to mention the 1 by 4 again. Clear? 1 by, you can say, it is decreased by how many times? Everybody? 4 times. So that is the law which we used to call it as a inverse square law. This is also we will study Kepler's laws. Already 9th class I taught again I am saying. So this is what we used to call it as a what law? Everybody? Inverse square law. So if the distance is becoming double, then force is force of attraction is decreased by four times. Like that, if m become 2m or another body also become 2m, then keep in mind distance is remains constant means. Then what will happen everybody? Capital G into in place of m I will write 2m. In place of m I will write capital 2m divided by r square. Now 2 to the what? Everybody 4. 4 into g into small m into capital M divided by r square. This entire thing is equals to something. Again, everybody, entire thing is equals to what? F1. F1. Do you understand everybody? So, masses may be one can increase. Masses may be both can increase. Distance, I'm not hearing your voice, Isali. Distance may be decreases. Distance may be increases. Now, why I'm saying this concept? Class 9th, you studied already in exercises also many questions. But still you are forgetting, that's what I am saying you. So, always what is the factors affecting force of attraction? What is the two factors affecting force of attraction? Everybody? What is the two factors which is affecting force of attraction between the two bodies? Mass and of distance. bodies and second one is what? Everybody? Distance yes, please. Distance between uh, two bodies from there? Yes, please. Center. From their centers. Center. So, these are the two factors who will affect the force of attraction of any objects. Force of attraction of everyone, any objects. Understand that? Kudreswa, Pradosh, Narayan. So, this concept based in ninth class, I think many, many sums have taught you like this. Am I right, Pradosh? You know very well from the long back you are studying. Am I right? So, you, we have studied many things during that time. So, for changing the mass, changing the one mass, changing the both mass, okay? That is what you have to make it. Clear, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, this is what is about what is universal law of gravitation and what is the concept behind universal law or also we can say it as a Newton's law of gravitation. So, according to Newton's law of gravitation, the force of attraction in any two bodies always acting what? Always acting on the axis of rotation where it is like connecting between the two objects and always there will be a force of attraction between any two objects in the universe. That is what you have to remember. I hope you all are clear. This is what is Newton's law of gravitation. Yes, Mr. Pradosh, Narayan, anything doubt you can ask. Clear everybody? Yes. Now, so question number one, let me take a two, two objects, so whose mass is m and the distance between the center to the sur surface is r 
and there is another one which is contacting that is what which is contacting to the first one whose radius this is also r and whose mass is also small m whose mass is also what everybody small m clear so now and the density of this one is d a rho and this is our density of this substance also rho so now these are the two identical spherical balls what is it actually all of you two identical please respond two identical Sorry. spherical balls who's having a radius r understanding and made up of same material made up of same material then material the force of force of attraction between between them calculate the force of attraction the force of calculate the force of attraction attraction between them between them is f so options option a 1 by r square option b 1 by r power 4 option c r square option d r power 4 so you have to calculate that force that is what is the question target okay so let me see how many of you will try so what is the distance between the two bodies from their centers park rang just if you see that you will get the answer over very simple answer clear so let me teach now so we all knows that they have given the density also so if you know the density you can see that mass you can modify mass is equals to what everybody density into speak loudly all of you density into uh -huh. volume because density is equals to mass by volume so mass is equals to density into volume i hope you all understand anybody having any doubt you can ask me are you clear guys everybody please respond i love you so that is what so now we all know they are asking force of attraction what is the formula force of attraction capital g into m1 into m2 divided by r square so according to inverse square law what is inverse square law everybody f is directly proportional to sorry inversely proportional to square of square of distance between the two bodies from their centers that is what you have to remember now if i take this question they have given a two spherical balls two spherical balls who is actually whose mass is same whose mass is same what is the spherical ball they are saying what is the mass of the spherical ball everybody what is the mass mass is equals to what everybody speak loudly rho into velocity am i right or wrong so what is the density density is rho only into what is the volume of the sphere everybody volume of the sphere volume of the sphere pi r three pi r cube. yeah four by three pi r cube prima so this is what is the mass understanding so that is what now if i replace it capital g into m1 into m2 divided by distance now they are saying you can see distance from here to here r from here to here r r plus r which is equals to what everybody r plus two r. r equals to what guys to r that is two what r. actually i am trying to say so 2 r square which is equals if i make it g into m1 so m1 m1 is equals to m2 why means pakaranga uh, observe the structure here m m is equals to m so okay so what is common in this? Both masses are same. Am I right, Rudreswar? Can I write M1 is equals to M and M2 is equals to also M? So both are not went anything. So what will happen, everybody? Both masses remains constant. So M, M1 plus M2, that is what? M plus M, which is equals to what? Everyone? M plus M is equals to what, guys? 2M. Am I right? Huh? Yes, please. So that is what? Sorry. M into M, mama, not M plus M. M square, sir. Yeah, M square. Very good, uh, Rudreswar. So, m square divided by 4 r square. Now, you can see capital G into m value. What is the m value? Just now, we got it. Both spheres are same. What is that? Density into 4 by 3 into pi r cube divided by 4 r square. 4 r square. Now, you can see how to solve this one. So, if you observe very carefully, everything will be remains constant capital g capital uh, rho density a specific density that is what we can say relate to density uh, sorry what is that actually a rho rho means density g means universal law of gravitation 
4 by 3 pi r cube. Now, if you observe very carefully, actually it is not a 4 by 3 pi r cube. M square. M square means it is a whole square. Am I right, everybody? Speak loudly, guys. Yes? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, if you observe. Yes, so, they are asking only what is the options you can see. What is the relation between this radius? That is what? Made up of same material. The force of attraction between them is F. F is direct, the inversely proportional to what? That is what is our target. So let us see now if you observe. So this all R remains constant. Only thing is this one that will become R and R because we have to find that. So R power 3 whole square divided by R square which is equals to R power 6 divided by R power 2. Clear everybody? So 2 and 4, 2 will get cancelled. 4 is remaining. What is R? Uh, all of you, r power, r power 4. So that is what is the understanding. So how to calculate, how to calculate the force based upon the MCQ. I hope you understand everybody. Please respond guys. Yes, Mr. Rohit, Mahalakshmi, Murali, no response at all. Understand everybody. So that is the way you need to solve the numerical. So you have to calculate Everything remaining all constant. One and only thing is changing is distance become like between the two bodies. Between the two bodies, what is the distance? Everybody. Yes, please. That is the R. Oh. You have to take it and you have to write it. Okay. So if you write it here, what will happen? 4 R square will come. So everything will get cancelled. So then it will be entirely changes. That is the reason it should not be understanding all of you. So, always F is equals to capital G into M1 into M1 divided by R square. So, if you have any kind of difficulty in this, you can ask me. So, finding the ratios is actually now, it is very, very important. So, what will happen? R power 3, 2 is how much? Everybody, R power 6 divided by R power 2. So, 2 and 2, 6 will cancel. Finally, we will get what? Everybody, R power? Yes, please. 4. R power 4. So that is the way we have to solve it. This is only is equals to capital F. This is the way, it's the formula. F is equals to R power 4. That is what you have to remember. I hope you all understand, everybody. So what is the correct option? Option number D. Okay. Mm -hmm. so that is what you have to remember. Okay, guys. Everybody. So brothers, understand Ara? Good rest well. Yes. Sir. yes. So now. I will, I will say you one question. Let me see how many are true or false. You have to find it. Okay. So you can take it everybody. So we all knows that. We all knows that force exerted by second body and first body. Which is equals to force exerted by second. Yeah. This is first body. First body and second body. By second body. Next second one. Force exerted by second body due to the first body. That is what F21. And this is F12. Which is always acting actually backward direction that is what so now options let me write so given question you have to prove the given universal law of gravitation for all the cases what i am going to speak now so what is the distance between them r and mass is small m and this mass is capital m so what is the universe yeah uh, what is the formula for capital f everybody f is equals to what all of you capital g into <laughs> understanding what will happen capital g into M1 into M2 divided by R square. If it is, I can write like this. Small m into capital M divided by R square. So this is how it will be happening. And we have to calculate it now. So there is a distance between the two bodies is R and two masses is M and M. One is small m, another one is capital M. So now, force exerted exactly as I said, line of axis. So, force exerted by first body and second body is A12. Then the force exerted by second body on second body on that is what on first body is that is what 2 A21. So, now if you notice it, these forces are equal and opposite are equal in same direction. Everybody? Equal and opposite are equal in the same, uh, same direction. All of you. Yes, please. Yeah. Equal and opposite. So, point number one. F12 is equals to minus F21. Is it true or not? False or true? That is only the question. Am I right, everybody? Force exerted by first body and second body. Force exerted by second body and first body. But here, so this is, is it a, yes, please respond. So, is it true or not, everybody? Yes, please. All of you. So, the first one is A. So, that is what? 
Okay, so completed. Now, second option. So I can say the force exerted by first body and second body is always equal and opposite reaction. Action is equals to reaction. I hope you all clear. So this is what you have to remember. So always the force exerted by first body and second body, irrespective of their masses, then second body also will exert the same force in the first body, but in same direction or opposite direction. Rudosh, it is in opposite direction. Opposite. Yeah. Now next, F net. So what is the net resultant force? Anybody can tell? What is the net resultant force from them? All of you. Net resultant force. So that is what F is equals to M into A. So now, at least you can notice it in this case. So every case, the net acceleration is equals to zero only. So that is what you have to remember. I hope you all clear. Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. Are you clear, guys? Understand? Uh? So for this is also correct and this is also correct. Next, third one. So third one, you all of you observe. This is mathematical proof. Acceleration exerted by first body and second body is equals to, you can see, everyone, all of you, then acceleration exerted by acceleration exerted by second body on first week. So this is what is the big bus. Uh, sorry, it is given here. So now we have to calculate by using a mathematical calculations. We have to calculate it. Either the both accelerations are same. Means, of course, net force exerting by the two bodies is say equal and opposite. So what is the net force for those? Net force is equals to what? Net force acting between them. One is positive, another one is negative. So what is the net force? Everybody, both will cancel out. What is the net force? Net force zero. is equal to what? Zero. Now we have to prove either this one is right or wrong. Acceleration of first body on second body and second body on first body, is it true or not? Both are equal or not? We have to find it. Force is same, but acceleration, acceleration depends on one thing. Anybody can tell? According to Newton's second law, F is equal to M into A. So A is equals to F by M. So what is the acceleration of a body depends on what? Everybody. Yes, please. Mass of the object. Acceleration is inversely proportional to mass of the object. Mass increases, acceleration decreases. Mass decreases, acceleration will. Everybody. Acceleration will increases. Let us calculate now. So as we are seeing in X axis, so we'll take it as I cap. So we'll calculate what is the acceleration of first body and acceleration of second body. What is the force formula? Everybody can tell. Force formula. Force is equals to what? All of you. Force is equals to? Mass yes. into acceleration. Acceleration. Now we want to find acceleration. So acceleration is equals to what? Force by? Force mass. by mass. So now let me accept first one. So force exerted by first body and second body is equals to capital G into small is small m into capital M divided by R square. Okay. Now, so we all know that all of you, this is what is the force. So we all know acceleration is equals to F by M. So F value is how much guys? Capital G into small m into capital M divided by R square divided by capital M or small m. Everybody, capital M or small m. Verify it. Everybody. So that is what F by M. So let me take it as say, okay, small m. One is small m, another one is capital M. Okay. So that is what diagram you can draw. So diagram I'm drawing. So this mass is small m and this boss is capital M. So we have to find the acceleration between them. Okay. Which is greater, which is lesser or both are equal. So F by M. So F by small m, which is equals to F. F value how much guys? G M M M into capital M divided by R square divided by m so now you can notice it something will get cancelled anybody can tell small m small m will get cancelled so force exerted by understanding force exerted by first body on second body okay first body and second body is equals to capital g into capital m divided by r square am i right everybody speak loudly guys all of you yes please that is what you have to remember it. Understand, brothers? Next, second body. Second body force exerted by second body due to the first body is equals to, if you have taken, okay, again, same. Capital G into small m into capital M divided by capital M. So we all, oh, sorry, divided by R square, sorry, divided by R square. Now, if I apply Newton's second law, that is what F is equals to MA. 
and a is equals to f by m so f is equal to what is the value everybody f is equal to what is the value capital g into small m into capital m divided by r square divided by this is what capital m or small m everybody it is the please respond capital m so capital m and capital m get cancel so what is the acceleration of this one everybody acceleration of acceleration of 2 on 1 which is equals to what will happen remaining check it everybody g into small m divided by r square am i right everybody yes please sure. respond guys so now do you think a acceleration of a second body and first body is equals to gm divided by r square now acceleration of a first sorry second body on first body that is what this one so what is the answer will come a12 sorry this is a12 so this is uh, a21 is this one now this is a12 so a12 is equals to what capital g into capital m divided by r square this is small and this is caps so that is what i cap because x direction so that is what you have to remember so now you tell me is this both acceleration are same this acceleration is capital g into small m divided by r square this acceleration is capital g into capital m divided by r square is it equal brothers to this one yes please both acceleration are not same so that option c is right or wrong everybody 